Hey guys, welcome to another Nasheed's Made Simple where I'm going to take you through the very basics of drumming and singing. Now, uh, 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 we mentioned this before that you guys like singing. I know you do because you always give your mum and dad a bit of an earache, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's okay, we like to sing, it's just a natural part of human beings that they like to sing, they like to drum on the table and things like that. But what I want you to do is take it a little bit more seriously and try to learn some of the basics because who knows, we may truly have another future Nasheed artist out there. It could be you, but you have to learn somewhere and this is what we're going to do on Nasheed's Made Simple. Right, I've got my two household items still with me. The pasta holder, I think it's a pasta holder, I don't know what it is, right? And our bowl, okay, our bowl is a bit of a hat as well you can use it as a hat but I don't think it suits me never mind right we're gonna use those now to recap what we did last time we did a simple four beat drum pattern okay remember what we did we did this one two three four one two three four what well, we did it with one hand I'm getting a bit ahead of myself one two three four one, two, three, four. Okay, we did it with that basin. We did it with this pasta holder. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And those of you who didn't have anything that you could drum on, you could just simply hold the note, hold the beat with your hands by clapping. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, don't think that this is useless. Trust me, from these four simple beats, we will build and build and build and build. Because as I mentioned before, you'd be surprised that there are a lot of people that can't do what we just did there and what you, sh I'm sure, have done. Or some of you may have found it a bit difficult. How, how do I do that? Mm, right? I'm trying to do it and it's not working because rhythm, and beats and keeping timing is fundamental. It's the bedrock upon which all nasheeds, all music, all songs rest, okay? Keeping that song. Listen to any nasheeds that you like. Zayn Bika, Maha Zayn, Omar Isa, whoever it is, I guarantee you their songs won't go, uh, mountains of Mecca, da, 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 da. it won't speed up and go slow. It's always having a steady beat. Always having a steady beat. So that steady beat is what we're talking about now, the basic foundations. Right, so now that we've talked about what we did last time, I want to go one step further, okay? Let's get our basin thing, right? And we're gonna put it between our knees again. Remember, if you don't have a basin, you can't find a tin can or something, you can just do it on the table because at this point, it's not so much about playing the drums, it's more about learning the beats and learning timing and keeping in time, okay? What we did before was one, two, three, four. This is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can see at the end, I've kind of doubled up on those ones. If I clapped it, it would be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, are you doing it? <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very simple, okay? Let's try again on either the table or clap or on your makeshift drum uh, device. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now that is such a simple beat. And again, if you are, um, I don't know, you're at school or um, you're in a car or the bus or just walking on the road or something, you can always count that in your head, tap it on your leg, tap it on your arm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, because the reason why it's important at this stage to do that is because like most songs, they don't go one, two, three, four and stop. They go for two or three minutes. So what we're trying to do is learn that basics. So once we learn the basics, we just repeat it, 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 repeat it for the length of the song. But that is where the difficulty comes in. Because I'll tell you what happens sometimes. You go like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, see? See, I'm going out of time. Because after you did the first four, maybe the first eight, maybe the first 12, after a while, you kind of maybe get a bit bored. You're like, oh, four, I can't be bothered anymore, <laughs> right? But keeping that beat the same all the way through is very important. 
Okay, let's try that beat on our pastor holder. Okay, same thing we did before a second ago. Here we go, ready? Again, you can tap on the table lightly. Don't disturb the neighbors, you know what I mean? Or you can clap. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, so easy beats there to get your head around. The first one was just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The second beat was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I want everybody who is in the room with you, don't get embarrassed now, okay? It's just a bit of fun, right? Have a go at that. Again, if you haven't got anything that you can play on or you haven't got a tabletop nearby, you've got your two hands, inshallah, or you've got your arm, you can, or your knee or your leg, you can tap on. So we're going to all do it together after three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. So I've showed you two simple beats that will be the foundation of what we're going to do a little bit later on, okay? But again, you know, you can practice this anywhere. You can just be tapping on your arm. You can even go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, trust me, all great percussionists, drummers, producers, performers, they all are aware of these four basic beats, okay? Because that is what everything else is built upon. And because there's so much like singing and stuff on top, you might not hear that drumming at the bottom. I guarantee you, take any nishi that you like and listen to it, you'll hear one, two, you won't hear somebody saying one, two, three, four, but you'll hear that beat. Okay, let me give an example. Oh, mountains of Mecca, what did you see? Da, 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 You see, that beat, that clapping is exactly the same. Any song you want to choose. Let's think of another one. Um, oh, I can't think of any, think of any songs. But you try any songs that you like and you can clap along to it. It might be a bit faster. It might be a bit slower. But it's always going to be like that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this session of Nasheed's Made Simple. We've got a lot more in store, so make sure you never miss it. Take care. Salaam alaikum. Thank you.